What does the act mean for me? This is a resource to help you as a practitioner work in accordance with the principles of the Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act 2014. From April 2016, you will have to work according to the Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act 2014. This Act modernises and brings together different pieces of social care law. It has three elements. The Act. The Regulations, which provide more details on what the Act requires us to do. And the Codes of Practice, which will give practical guidance on how it should be implemented. It simplifies how care and support will be delivered, for people giving and receiving care and support. The Act consists of 11 parts, is built on five principles and defines the people it affects. You can think of these as the three P's. People. Parts. Principles. The Act applies to the care and support of adults, people over the age of 18, children, people under the age of 18, and carers, adults and children who provide or intend to provide care and support. The Act strengthens the safeguarding and protection of adults and children. There are new duties on relevant partners of a local authority, such as health organisations, the police and probation services, to inform them when it suspects a person is at risk. There are new legal powers for a local authority to protect adults at risk. The existing legislation for safeguarding children remains in place. Principles The Act is built on five key principles. These guide how we work with people and how services will be delivered in the future. The principles are embedded in the Code of Professional Practice for Social Care. It is important that people delivering care and receiving care are familiar with and understand the principles and how these apply in practice. 1. Voice and control. 2. Prevention and early intervention. 3. Well-being. 4. Co-production. 5. Multi-agency. Principle 1. Voice and control. The Act puts an individual and their well-being at the centre of decision-making. It gives people a stronger voice and greater control over the support they receive and promotes their well-being, so they can achieve what matters most to them. This could be having a safe and permanent home, being able to take part in activities they enjoy or being able to plan and cook a meal. This will enable individuals to stay independent for longer and to remain or become part of their communities with the support of families and friends. Principle 1. Voice and control. Some examples of ways we can make sure people have a strong voice and real control include looked after children and adults with care and support needs should have access to advocacy services to help them voice their views and choices. A child's view should be taken into consideration when someone is making decisions about their lives, for example where they live, even if that decision has to be taken to protect them from harm. An adult is entitled to make decisions that others may think unwise or risky where they have capacity to do so. Principle 2. Prevention and early intervention. It is important that timely advice and support is provided to individuals to prevent things reaching a crisis point for them. Prevention and early intervention can make a huge difference to people's lives as it can reduce or delay the need for longer-term care or support. The Act is designed to make sure that people can ask for the help they need when they need it to prevent their situation getting worse. Carers can access support to assist them in their caring roles and maintain their own well-being. Principle 2. Prevention and early intervention. A wider range of preventative approaches will help people live as independently as possible, reducing the need for more formal care and support. For example, Sean's moving out of a residential children's home into his own flat. The support workers have been working with Sean preparing for his move. He feels lonely. His aftercare worker Jane suggests he joins a supper club for young people, which he does. 
Sean finds the company and additional advice and support at the club help him to adapt to living on his own. Principle 3. Well-being At the heart of the act is people's right to well-being. People have a responsibility for their own well-being, but some people will need help to achieve this. The act will change the way social services, health and other care and support services work together to help and support people, making sure people who need care and support and carers who need support can enjoy well-being in every area of their lives. Supporting the well-being of individuals is an important part of your role, as is helping people achieve what matters to them. Principle 3. Well-being. There are many interpretations of well-being. The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as the state of being comfortable, healthy or happy. In supporting individuals with their well-being, it's essential to understand what this means to them. This includes being safe, having somewhere suitable to live, being involved in making decisions that impact your life, having friends and being part of good, strong communities, having every chance to do well in education, feeling good about your life, for adults, being able to work, for children, being able to grow up happily and successfully and being well looked after. Principle 4. Co-production. Under the Act, individuals will be more involved in the design and delivery of their support. It will mean working with them and their family, friends and carers, so their care and support is the best it can be. Involving individuals more will also help to change their relationship with services, so they will no longer simply be using the services but also helping to design and deliver them. It recognises their strengths and the expertise they can bring too. This will ensure our care and support services are designed around what matters most to the individual. For you, co-production means working with people in a more equal way, seeing them as the expert of their situation and agreeing ways in which you can work together to achieve well-being. Principle 4. Co-production. This might mean having a conversation with the person about their strengths and how they can work with you to achieve what matters to them and overcome any obstacles. Working with a person to make decisions about how best to keep them safe and well, rather than apply a one-size-fits-all approach. Working with new types of services that are set up and run by the people that use them. Principle 5. Multi-agency. Strong partnership working between all agencies and organisations is essential to improve the well-being of individuals in need of care and support, and carers in need of support. The Act strengthens joint working arrangements between local authorities and other relevant partners such as health organisations, emergency services, housing, education and early years, voluntary sector, community services, probation services. Principle 5. Multi-agency. Stronger multi-agency working will help improve people's well-being, the quality of services and reduce duplication. This will also ensure the right types of support and services are available to meet the needs of people in their local communities. For example, a health and well-being hub has been developed in a rural area that brings together the GP practice, outpatients clinics, health and well-being groups run by the voluntary sector and social care services all under one roof. This provides more integrated health and social care support for local people and creates a health and well-being focal point for the community. The Act means organisations and workers will need to work closely together to improve the well-being of people who need care and support and carers who need support. This will continue to involve listening to a person's views and feelings, treating them with respect and dignity, taking into account their culture, beliefs and language needs, helping them make their own decisions, with adults, promoting independence where possible, with children, promoting their upbringing by their own family where it is safe and possible to do so. 
working together to support well-being.